Before our service today, uh, I asked Marion if she knew where we could find a castanet. <laughs> it's really needed for the children's story, and she didn't have one. But would you believe there was one right here in the pulpit? So <laughs> I think I'll use it. Tina Kotu Tina Tato Kotor. Welcome to the Auckland Unitarian Church, a place that has been our home for 118 years. Unlike many other churches, we don't have a creed. Instead, we have seven principles of how we are trying to act together. Today, I'd like to concentrate on number six on the wall over there, the goal of world community with peace, liberty and justice for all. Today, I'm also looking at inspiration offered to us by Jewish people from their faith. I have a video of a Jewish congregation singing one of their favorite songs. With any luck, uh, we'll get that going at the right part of the service. And I have a second video of a New Zealand leader who was on a Zoom meeting six months ago talking about the Black Lives Matter campaign. This will be our address for the day and I found it very helpful. I light this candle as a symbol of our life together. 2020 has been an incredibly difficult year because of COVID-19, and although New Zealand has come out of it better than some countries, it has still been very hard for many people who lost their jobs or their businesses, and for health workers and others who have been part of the battlefront and exhausted. Our own congregation has risen to the challenge by providing for online services and Zoom services, which have been uh, very much valued it also have been very demanding on those who are leading it. I'm thinking in particular of Clay and Paul. We appreciate that. Now I invite you to join with me in the words of the covenant. Love is the doctrine of this church. The quest for truth is the sacrament and service is its prayer, to dwell together in peace, to seek knowledge in freedom, to serve humankind in fellowship, to the end that all souls shall grow in harmony. Thus do we covenant with each other and with our God. Now let's sing the hymn, Morning Has Broken. For the reading, I've chosen the first um, five verses of the Bible. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring my Bible here, so I'll do it from memory. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness covered the face of the deep. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And he divided the night from the day, and said, I can't remember what he said, um, <laughs> and that was, the, that, was the, um, that was morning, that was the evening, that was the first day, something like that. Now, I want to play to you um, a, a Jewish song. I, I began with this by finding a Jewish speaker and then thinking I'd like to have some um, Jewish parts of the service as well. And without being able to sing very good Hebrew myself, um, and probably most of you just about as bad, um, I'll, I'll get this video, which is of a congregation in, um, in America, and they're singing this song. I'm 
The song that they are singing there is called Mecha Mocha, which means how great you are. And it's a song that the um, Jewish leader Miriam sang on one of the most important days of Jewish history. This was the day that they escaped from Egypt where they had been slaves. And they had escaped by um, Moses leading them through the desert and they came, they were being chased by Pharaoh's soldiers the, uh, uh, in their chariots. And the, the people were wondering how on earth they were going to escape from the soldiers. And Moses held out his rod over the sea where they had been stopped, the Sea of Reeds. And as he did this, the God sent an almighty wind, blew the waves, so they stood um, like a, a walls on both sides of them and they walked through without getting their feet wet. I forgot to add that Miriam, who was one of the leaders, uh, she was the sister of Moses and he was the, the leader. She was also the woman who rescued Mo Moses when he was a baby and his mother had to abandon him and left him floating down the river. And she um, surprisingly found the basket before he floated down the river and Pharaoh's daughter took Moses as her own son. But anyway, when they got to this um, parting of the waters. Um, and then it was that Moses led them through. God stopped blowing <laughs> the waves up in a heap and the e Egyptian soldiers who were following were all drowned. And then it was that Miriam sang this song of praise to God for all the miracles that he had just done. And so in this play, they act the um, actions of the um, of the Jewish people walking um, through the water and half of the people are going to be Jewish people escaping and the other half are acting the water. That's my interpretation of it. Nobody told me this, but let's see if we can make it go now. I'd like to hear you to be Israelites and come with me and we can do what they're doing. Then you'd like to follow and join in this part of the story. Just follow me around the uh, with everybody. Uh, half of you will be Now it's time for us to uh, share our joys and concerns. Uh, I will start by um, offering one for the, for the Jewish people. Um, they are still in New Zealand feeling that they are an oppressed people. Um, the woman I spoke to, Juliet um, Moses, was um, in a Zoom meeting that I went to, was saying that they, they still felt... Um, there are many people in New Zealand who hate them. Um, that they, uh, some of the Jews, she said themselves, um, are also um, return the hatred. And she gave her interpretation of the better way to do that. So I like that with the Jewish people of New Zealand. Would anyone else like to, to light a candle? Morning. <coughs> I'm Alexandra. Um, thank you very much, David, for the story of the Exodus. I enjoyed that. Good. Um, you may have seen the film Exodus. I love the music. It's wonderful. Oh, this, this candle is a welcome. 
to Katrina from the United States, who's visiting us. And this one is for Peter, who's visiting us from the rationalists in Wellington. Yeah. So, welcome. Leo, this is the quick candle of joy for the rain <laughs> yesterday. It was definitely a blessing and a star. Oh yeah, we had a good trip. Uh, Alex, uh, Kareem and, and I out to our big bay the uh, day before yesterday. Wonderful trip. Let me get us to and now I'd invite you to join in a song which is also Jewish in style. It's a song I wrote myself to some medieval music, but it picks up the Jewish creation story uh, in modern language. Instead of the Jewish creation story, this is the scientific story of how the universe began. <laughs> the um, story that I'm about to show you um, has got two links in it for me. Uh, one is that um, when I was campaigning for religion in schools, um, I met leaders of lots of other religions and found out what their views were about it. And one of the most helpful was Juliet Moses, who was the um, spokesperson for the Jewish Council of New Zealand. And she um, helped me run a survey of Jewish people. Uh, I, I designed the survey and she sent it out to um, all the Jewish people on her list and I got a couple of hundred replies to that. I also got um, two other religious groups um, for comparison. So I um, was very much appreciative of her. And after that had happened, I am uh, also a member of the, um, count, the Abrahamic Council of Christians, Muslims and Jews in Wellington. And I follow their website and occasionally watch um, their discussions. And in the 30th of June, I watched a discussion um, about Black Lives Matter. And each of the three religions that belonged to this group had a speaker who said, um, this was in, in the light of the um, killing of a black person in America by the police. And um, each of these three religions said what their answer was to, to racism. And to my surprise, the Jewish leader in this discussion was the same person, Juliet Moses. And um, I was quite honoured that in her talk about what should be done about racism, she actually paid me a small tribute along the way. Now let's find that video, if I can work out how to do it. Um, Just to um, start off, really, the, the very the, the starting point for a discussion on a you know, Jewish perspective on, on racism. Right. Thank you for listening. And I invite you to join in our closing hymn, Let It Be a Dance. our extinguisher behind. <laughs> Let's try it without, a, without an extinguisher.
hot stuff. And now will you join me in the, the closing words? We extinguish this flame, but not the light of truth, the warmth of community, or the fire of commitment. These we carry in our hearts until we are together again. Now I invite you to form uh, discussion groups to talk over the issue. What was your reaction to Juliet's address? Is racism a problem? And if so, what could we do about it? We usually form into about three, three or four groups, depending on how many you want to speak with. For my closing words, I've chosen a benediction, which I've used before. May wisdom guide you, love inspire you, and hope continue with you until we meet again. <laughs>